Hello and welcome to the whiskey.com news on the 12th of February 2019. We have a number of very, very interesting news. First of all, we have the Glenmorangie distillery and they are actually expanding. If you watched my video about the Glenmorangie distillery a few weeks ago, then you could see at the side of the uh, drone flight that they actually had a construction site there. The video was shot in end of November, so they are probably going to be much further now and they're probably going to have the buildings now and will be installing the equipment soon. Yeah, they're going to get uh, a couple of new distilleries, uh, distill pot stills, and they're going to get more uh, mashing and fermenting equipment and they're going to get two more, more warehouses. So hopefully the supply is going to increase and we're going to enjoy Glenmorangie longer in the future. There is going to be a video on Wednesday here or Thursday maybe for the English channel um, about um, a new Glenmorangie and I've met someone from the whiskey creation team and he's kind of involved in in this uh, uh, expansion as well. So if you maybe have already seen the Glenmorangie Alta video, there's going to be a few questions in between about that topic as well. Not particularly directly at that one, but we're going to uh, side skirt this issue. Yeah. Then we have the Douglas Lang who brought out a new series of whiskies. It's the Douglas Lang Elements series. It's going to be uh, four whiskies for every element one, fire, air, water and earth. And they're going to start off with a uh, Craig Lachy 12 years as a fire. It's going to be a cask strength whiskey, so it might be a very good series as it sounds. Then we have the Glengoyne Distillery, which also does a new series of whiskey. The Glengoyne uh, series is going to be a legacy series and they're going to call their first one Chapter One. And the Chapter One is for their um, most important person who influenced the distillery very, very much. It's going to be Cochrane Cartwright and he is the one who was responsible for the um, change in quality. He introduced a slower distillation of um, and a maturation in sherry casks. And that's still kind of the thing about Glendoin today. So he is going to be honored his legacy with a special bottling. Next up, the uh, Razai distillery is now selling smaller casks. They already have been selling 190 liter American standard barrels and now they're selling 30 liter barrels, which give you roughly about 40 bottles, depending if you want cask strength or not. Then we have some good news from the Tobomori distillery. It's going to reopen. Yeah, we already knew that it's probably going to be open. Um, we know it's going to be reopening this year and they're going to celebrate it with a new bottling. It's going to be a 12 year old bottling. And that's pretty much what we know up to so far. It's probably going to be one of the nice designer bottles with some pictures and that kind of stuff on it. But what's inside the bottle, we really don't know. And last but not least, we have Brown Foreman announcing a new Woodford Reserve Selected American Oak. Usually the Woodford Distillery has three kind of oaks, three kind of American oaks, but this time they actually chose that one oak to have that particular touch in that whiskey. And it's going to be the Ozark, o Ozark Oak. It's going to be highly limited, 45.2% uh, ABV, which is roughly 90 proof. And yeah, if you can find one, probably get one because it's going to be gone very, very soon. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching and see you next week.